Good morning, Los Angeles. It ain't over till it's over, and the legend of Yogi Berra will live forever. Hi, I'm Bill Plaschke, sports columnist, Los Angeles Times, and this is your wake-up call. Baseball fans everywhere received a wake-up call last night when Yogi Berra died at age 90. Arguably the greatest catcher ever, one of the greatest Yankees ever, was known mostly for his funny one-liners. It's deja vu all over again. When you get to a fork in the road, take it. All these sorts of things. Unfortunately, that obscured the fact that this was one great catcher, one great baseball player, one tough guy, three-time MVP, 10 world championship rings, 10, 15 all-star game appearances, 500 RBI seasons, Hall of Famer. My favorite stat is he played on the teams with Joe DiMaggio and Mickey Mantle, yet during that time, for seven straight years, he led the Yankees in RBI. I met Yogi Berra several times, and I was always impressed with the fact that this was not some big larger than life funny guy this was a small about five foot seven kind of a round tough stout guy this was this was a baseball man this was not a funny man and i think i think i think the ending toward the end he thought people would forget about what a great baseball player he was and just think he was a humorist no he was a great baseball player. He was epitomized by when he caught the final out of Don Larson's perfect game in the 1956 World Series. If you watch the video, he runs to the mound and jumps in Larson's arms like every catcher does. But Yogi Berra does not take off his mask, leaves his mask on. That's a sign of the kind of mindset he had, the kind of tough, down-to-earth ball player he was. And I hope that's how he's remembered. Again, Yogi Berra dead at age 90. The baseball world will sorely, sorely miss him. You can read us at LATimes.com and follow me on Twitter at Bill Plaschke. Have a great day.